Stop chasing love and relationships. Do this instead and attract that special, specific person into your life easily, effortlessly with the law of attraction. Hi everyone, Robert Zink, miracle mentor and alchemy success coach. And today we are soaring high like a big, beautiful Eagle. And we're always flying in the direction of your dreams and goals. Look at, we're here almost every day with a new video. So be sure and subscribe, click that bell icon so that you're aware of when our new videos are available. Hi flyers. You can claim your 30 minutes of miracle mentoring and alchemy success coaching absolutely free love relationships, money, health, happiness, prosperity, abundance, whatever it is you desire, find out what a mentoring program can mean for your life. Visit us at law of attraction solutions.com. So high flyers, have you noticed that the more you chase something, the more you beg and wish for it and cry for it and call for it and text, the further it gets, especially when it comes to relationship. I mean, it also works the same way with money, but especially with relationships. So most people, when they go through a breakup or when they're, when they're wanting to take the relationship to the next level, they increase the wanting, they increase the begging, they increase the crying and the needing, and that gets them exactly the opposite of what they desire. So high flyers, what I'm going to suggest, if you really want to make them chase you and get that specific person into your life and into your world, instead of looking outward, look inward. And when I say look inward, what I'm really talking about is creating such an incredible life that they will absolutely want to be a part of it. But if you're in a needy position and you are so attached to that individual that everything they say and do, you jump from one foot to the next, then you're never going to be attractive. You're never going to be magnetic to them. And you're literally going to push them further away. The key is to have them begging, chasing you, wanting to be with you because you have gone inward and created a beautiful lifestyle for yourself, a beautiful life for yourself. You've raised your vibration. And so now you're more magnetic. So I think I was watching an interview or a podcast many years ago. And Joe Vitale said it best because I've always struggled with how to communicate this. He said, you need to want it and not want it at the same time. You put out the intention and then you allow the universe to make it happen for you. And we're going to share some ideas on how to do that. But first high flyers, have you noticed, have you ever had a situation where you went through a breakup and six months goes by, nine months goes by, and pretty soon you start dating someone else and you're just getting into this new person and things are going really well. And all of a sudden the person from six months ago or nine months ago that broke up with you is calling you again asking you if, well, hey, let's get together for a drink or how are you doing? What's going on? And here's a reason for that. The reason is, is that you, you had an intention at one time to be with that person. And then you totally detached and you began to focus on yourself. And the more you focused on yourself, the happier you became. And then you met someone else, which made you even happier. And so now your vibration, your frequency is filled with positivity and happiness and magnetism. And that other person is still connected to you. So on a subconscious level or on a frequency level, they feel it. And all of a sudden it moves to their consciousness and then they react to it. Oh, I wonder how Larry's doing. 
I think I'm going to check in with Larry. It's been nine months. Wonder how he's doing. It happens like that all the time. And you don't need to let it go that far, but you get the idea detaching and putting juice, energy, fire into yourself. You need to be a fire breather. And what I mean by a fire breather is you need to be passionate about your life, your journey, who you are, what you are and where you're going. You see high flyers, because the opposite of wanting, needing, chasing is it's opposed to the law of attraction. The law of attraction says that likes attract likes. So when you're in a higher state of vibration, when you feel good about yourself, you attract people who are also in that higher state of vibration. But when you're wanting, needing, chasing, you're kind of pushing them away. The law of attraction is not about drawing you to that specific person. The law of attraction is about drawing them to you. And that's easy to do once you're in vibrational alignment, they'll unblock you. They'll start calling you. They'll text you. They'll chase you. They'll beg to be with you. But you know, you know what I mean? The secret to magnetically, magnetically attracting is an abundance mindset. This is easy. I am worth it versus a scarcity mindset. What if it doesn't work? What if they don't like me? What if they never come back? What if they date somebody else? You know, all of that is a scarcity mindset and will push them away versus an abundance mindset. Scarcity attracts scarcity. Write it down. Scarcity always attracts scarcity. So now if you really want to kick this up a notch, here's where the law of assumption comes in. The law of assumption says, if I become it in my mind, I will live it in my life. You assume that you already have what you desire. And that takes you out of that wanting because you believe on a subconscious level that your belief is so strong that you're already there, that you're just waiting for the clouds to clear and everything is perfect. You assume that you have that specific person chasing you, wanting you, needing you, going crazy for you. And when you assume it, when you see it, when you feel it in your mind, you will live it in your life. So let me give you a little acronym that you can use for the law of attraction or the law of assumption. L O A law of assumption L letting go. O, opening up a attracting what you desire. So you let go. Ah, take that deep breath. I let go. I assume I'm already there. You open up to receiving and you simply attract what you desire. It's easy and it works. So high flyers use the law of assumption after setting clear intentions using the law of attraction. Next, I think that if you really want to get them chasing you, you need to fractionate your energy. Just don't make it constant. Don't make it constant. Really turn up the juice with your affirmations, with your gratitude, with your visualization, with your uh, tapping, with whatever exercises you are doing for five days and then take two days off. And during those two days, just focus on yourself, on feeling good, on going places, traveling, doing, but don't think about manifesting. Just allow the energy to work for you. You have a partner in manifesting your specific person. It's called the universe, but you have to give the universe some space. So hit it hard for five days, take off for about two next. And I've mentioned this in several videos, present tense gratitude. It's a game changer. It changes everything. When you start writing that you are grateful 
for that specific special person calling you, chasing you, wanting you, needing you, desiring you. When you, when you feel that gratitude for that, then that's what you're sending out to the infinite field of potential, the universe. And that's exactly what you're getting back. Next have positive expectations. Know exactly that you expect a loving, committed, beautiful, happy relationship. Challenge your negative thoughts. When you have a negative thought, challenge it, write it down and challenge it and, and then replace it with a positive expectation thought. And finally use positive language patterns. I am, we are, I feel good. I feel incredible. I am absolutely certain. I love that phrase. I am absolutely, that means absolutely certain that the love of my life is already in my life. And we are falling deeper and deeper in love each and every day. Okay. Here's some other videos to help you on your journey.